All right, good morning. Welcome to the Jim of All Trades channel. Glad you made it by. My name's Jim. I'm a crypto trader and a Forex trader here to help you understand the market from an Elliott Wave perspective. Guys, I want to bring a chart to you that's uh, pretty interesting to me. I think it might be interesting to you as well. Um, I want to jump right in. Uh, let me just say this. I'm not here to give you a financial advice. Just want to warn everybody about a potential black swan that may be coming soon. Uh, the charts may be lining up for it. We'll see. On the left of my screen here, what you'll notice is uh, this is Bitcoin during the co at the top right before the COVID dump. I want to show you a couple of things here that's interesting as far as wave structure is concerned. Sorry I'm not bringing an Elliott Wave video today uh, for Elliott Wave Thursday. I thought this might be more important. Um, so what you'll notice here is the wave structure of, of, of how things uh, moved uh, towards the top of the wave. Uh, let me just identify, you know, this is current price action now um, and uh, this is the prior to uh, the COVID dump. Okay, so what, let's just look at the correlations here. We got a pump up there. We got a, we got a pump there. Okay, we got chop, 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 chop right there. Uh, another pump, another pump. It rolled over and took it all back, rolled over, took it all back, and then pumped again, pumped again. Chop, chop, chop up diagonally, chop, chop, chop up diagonally. We got our initial dump, three-way pullback, dump, dump, dump. Okay, and notice the other thing I want to show you. So, so that's what I think is coming. Uh, dump, pullback, dump, dump, dump. This might be the beginning, guys. This may be the very top of, uh, of, of a market dump that's coming. That's a large correction, okay? So what ensued following this was the uh, month of uh, February. In fact, the interesting thing is the very top here where this dumped, here was uh, February the 13th, okay? It was Thursday, February the 13th. We are currently in February 15th, uh, 15th, but it's the same Thursday. It's a Thursday of the same week of February. Super interesting the way things are lining up. Also with this, uh, with this uh, imminent threat to the United States now showing, plus you add all together uh, not only do you have the fractal here of the of the COVID uh, of the COVID top, um, you have uh, imminent threats to the United States, news looming that's that may be uh, getting ready to uh, you know come out. You also have every chart, every chart that I look I've looked at this morning. I have a finished count for. I mean, just just to kind of look at uh, H bar, for instance, you know, right here we uh, just looking at H bar. We had a dump three-way pullback dump. We got a fractal of that working right now. Looks like we're ready for a dump. Uh, I looked at VET this morning for a, a friend of mine uh, in our group. And look, look what we've got. We've got a leading diag of five, one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, I would expect to see a three-wave pullback ensue following that pretty, pretty, pretty fast and heavy, taking most of that move back. So, I mean, that's the way that's looking. You got the S&P that looks toppy. Um, uh, you've got, uh, uh, not Tesla, let's see, NASDAQ. You got NASDAQ, you got a five wave shape here at NASDAQ. Just every, all the charts are just kind of waiting for a reason to dump, right? So I'm just warning you guys that we're in an area, guys, where a big correction could be coming. I've been warning for quite a while on my channel that, hey, the market is setting up. It's setting up. Guys, I think we're here. I, th I think there's a good chance that we have now reached the area that, that we're, uh, we might be looking at the, the a top, some kind of local top where a, a large uh, pullback is now coming. No FUD here, guys, no FUD. Uh, guys, just keeping it real and keeping it uh, as balanced as it can be, okay? So uh, it's up or down as always. Just wanted to present those ideas to you very quickly. Just kind of say, hey, listen, guys, you know, um, maybe there's a dump coming. Uh, looking at SOL, I've been trading SOL lately. Uh, SOL has broke, uh, sorry for all those weird lines on the screen. Um, I use them in, a, in, in trading. Uh, but what you'll see here is that we've broken out of this trend here. We've broken, okay? So I had a, I had a fantastic short, two shorts uh, in SOL this morning. Uh, they, were, they were fantastic. I was kind of looking for it to go up and make one more high. It did not do that. So there's a chance, guys, uh, we are done. I'm gonna watch, uh, I'm gonna watch this trend line right there. See what happens here if we break down or break back up. We'll see what happens. But guys, just wanna warn you about the potential for you know, a looming event that may be coming uh, and uh, the markets may decide to sell off in response. So 
maybe maybe that's maybe that's a nothing burger. Absolutely. So be skeptical of what I just said, but don't dismiss it. Okay, so I wouldn't dismiss it. There's a lot to look at there. All right, I'm going to keep this short, guys. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Love to hear your ideas. Uh, check out that fractal. Do a little analysis of the fractal. Uh, and isn't that interesting, the timing of uh, of the, the fact that we're in the same month and the same day as the, the beginning of the COVID dump? Uh, the, the, the fractal, the wave looks about the same as the top of the COVID, uh, of, of that COVID rally, that rally right before the COVID dump. So yeah, pretty interesting. So uh, what's coming, guys? What's coming? You see that we believe in Elliott Wave and and and, and um, chart technicians that the the chart tells you when it's ready to dump. It, now we're just waiting for the reason, right? That the, the big boys have to to to, to play out their narrative, right? So that uh, they can you know, tell you the re oh the reason the market dumped is because of this, but but the evidence that was in the chart the whole time. Okay, uh, if you want to learn to look at the markets the way I look at the markets, the uh, fractal uh, analysis is, is, is one aspect of it. It's not the only thing, but certainly I sit up and listen when I see timing uh, of, of, of news events happening, coming together, and uh, Elliott Wave structures. And when, when they all start lining up, uh, they kind of screaming at me. And so right now, I'm kind of intense right now because they're screaming at me. Uh, until something changes, I won't change my mind. Uh, I'm going to right now. That's what the chart is saying. You guys have a fantastic day. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you want to be part of the discord, love to have you. We had a live this morning. We already uh, took some of those shorts together. Um, we, we, we were looking at, uh, Intel this morning. Uh, we were looking at, uh, um, uh, uh, Tesla, we looked at uh, the NASDAQ, we looked at the Dow Jones, we looked at Coinbase, we kind of did a market scan, uh, as well as some of the other uh, uh, cryptos that uh, people were interested in. So if you want to be part of those morning lives with me, and uh, need some analysis, want some uh, uh, a veteran uh, look at the market and an honest opinion, that's not moon boy, and that's not bear boy, just about as even keel as you can be. That's what you get in the discord, plus a fantastic group of people all over the world. I uh, got somebody in Serbia. I've got uh, somebody. I got a bunch of guys in Australia. We got UK guys. We've got uh, you know people in Greece. We've got people all over the world. So South America. So yeah, love Canada. Love to have you in wherever you're from. Come on in. Uh, we're a uh, 24/7 group. Love to have you. With that said, talk to you later. Have a fantastic day. Bye bye.